In the Rescuing Old Recordings episode of It's All Geek to Me, we have a look at the best ways to bring some of the older formats up to a newer digital format. Floppy disks are especially interesting. We took a look at what to do when a floppy disk has met a gruesome fate, perhaps in the mouth of your dog. Um, how far back in terms of these disk formats do you go here? We can go back to the early and mid 70s. We have uh, the technology here, an eight inch drive, which was the granddaddy of these. Some of these disks here have been seriously damaged. Can you do anything with those? Yes, in terms of damage, the damage may be eaten by a dog, stepped on, crushed, or we have a coffee cup and we inadvertently spill the coffee. It gets all over the disc, yet what do we do? The average person may have a chance, as long as the data has not been destroyed, by simply taking the diskette out of the case. Oh, man. And if, let's assume we had milk or we had coffee, you put it in room temperature water for about a minute, take it out, you just let it air dry. When it's dry, you make one of these things, which is just one of these cases. You split it, open it up, and you can put this back in. <laughs> and that'll work? And that'll work. Oh, there it man. Is. So data on these, does that deteriorate like videotape does? No. The, the only thing that'll make it deteriorate is if, if the surface gets scratched. Wow. Or if a magnet is put by it, otherwise it'll, it'll stay. Magnetic media lasts a long time. Unbelievable. So it turns out that it is possible to rescue almost anything, films, videos, audio, slides, data, and bring it up onto the newer formats like CDs and DVDs. Of course, home burned CDs and DVDs aren't forever either. Join me in 10 years for a special episode of It's All Geek to Me, where we look at how to rescue your old recordings from deteriorating CDs and DVDs. <laughs>